Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioDigest. Biotechnology is changing the way we look at how to solve human health, food, and environmental problems. And it all begins with science education that inspires the next generation of leaders and innovators in the industry. That's why the Biotechnology Institute, a national nonprofit organization based in Arlington, Virginia, works with teachers, students, and the public so they can become aware of the promise and achievements of biotechnology. The Biotechnology Institute is the national program for biotechnology education. We were created to excite students and support teachers in becoming knowledgeable about biotechnology. The mission is to engage and excite and educate as many people as possible, particularly young people, about the extraordinary promise, achievements, and challenges of biotechnology. Science teachers need uh, a tremendous amount of support because it's a different kind of a subject. It's, it's very demanding from an informational standpoint. So you've got an information explosion that teachers need to try and stay up with. We also uh, provide teachers with an opportunity to interact and exchange, to share best practices, and to really understand how their peers are developing some innovative techniques uh, for teaching biotechnology. Tremendous workshops, they're concise, they get you in, you do some really powerful stuff uh, in the lab in a, in a short period of time, and it's very, very rich. I was able to undergo wonderful workforce training, new labs, uh, given resources, lessons. It was incredible. So it was teachers teaching teachers how to teach biotechnology the best way they knew how. In the teacher programs, we also recognize the very best teachers in biotech through our Genzyme Life Technologies Biotech Educator Award. To be recognized for what you're doing and to have industry professionals Life and the Biotechnology Institute, Institute give you that seal of approval is enormous. You have honored me this day with this award, for that I'm very, very grateful. But I also say that you honor our students every day with your highly tangible business advocacy, and for that my appreciation is really greater than I can express. Thank you. I've been fortunate enough to be involved in the BioGenius program for the past six years. And each successive year, I'm more and more impressed by the caliber of the research performed and the presentations made by these young scientists. The great discoveries of tomorrow will come from young people like the finalists in this year's BioGenius competition, young people who have big ideas about the future. We also support and recognize students in the work that they do, and so we give an award called the Sanofi Aventis International BioGenius Award, and that recognizes the very best students who are doing independent research projects in high schools. My project's title is Diet and Longevity, and it focuses on using different dietary supplements and antioxidants to test their effect on the lifespan of Drosophila melanogaster, which is a type of fruit fly. I took two different species of plant, one from China and then one actually from Georgia, and I test them on red ring tumor cells to see which would inhibit that cancer activity the most. If you go and take a look at these projects, you're going to find that the quality of the science that's being done is what you would equate with honors project level work at the collegiate level and also would make a good start for many theses projects which could be undertaken at the graduate level. We have usually about 10 judges who evaluate the projects of the 14 finalists. And then the award is given at the bio keynote luncheon in front of 3,000 attendees. Please join me once more in congratulating all these fine young scientists. Organizations such as the Biotech Institute and their teacher leader program have the perfect model of the collaboration that's needed between academia, industry, commercial and academic labs, public school educators and government. It's going to take that type of collaborative model that you see in the teacher leader program to train our youth. We've developed some very powerful partnerships with corporations particularly. Companies that care about science education are willing to dedicate time of their scientists as well as their financial resources to support initiatives in their communities. I think that most companies will find programs here, probably more than one which would be suitable to their own goals. The benefits for investing in today's youth 
you can't you can't enumerate them it's priceless to invest in the life of a young person or a teacher and to let them know the options and the availability of science in their everyday lives is really going to return profits that are unbelievable if it were not for their dollars going into our school systems we would not be able to properly train our students for the next generation of science all these programs that we do to develop students and teachers are geared toward helping to improve the science education base in this country and that base is so important as a foundation for innovation for enabling the companies and biotechnology to be successful at developing new products and solutions. If it were not for my eighth grade teacher, I honestly could tell you now that I would not be here today. My original goal was to be a pro wrestler. <laughs> so it, things have been totally different. Um, I probably try to body slam me right now instead of actually talking to you about science. <laughs> Biotechnology is the science of the 21st century, utilizing the tools of biology, chemistry, physics, engineering and computer technology to develop products that will help solve many of the world's greatest challenges. But it all begins with education and inspiring young people to become the next generation of leaders in the industry. For BioDigest, I'm Dr. David Targan.